Hey everyone, Scott Ackerman here, and welcome to another fine Earwolf program on the Video Podcast Network. Stay tuned for... Improv for Humans. Oh, my favorite. Oh, welcome to Improv for Humans with Matt Besser. That's me. Welcome to the show, live on the YouTube Broadcast Network. VPN, Video Podcast Network. They got it. They got that title. Someone had to get it first. Uh, welcome. Brett's back. He hasn't hey. done the last two shows. He's been at jury duty. I won't quiz you about it yet. I'm going to wait till you're done. Okay. Because I, I don't want to have a mistrial. Yeah. Uh, Eric, the unpaid, paid intern, the legend, is back. Let's get a close-up on Eric. I'll be asking for that a lot. That's him right there. Can we get that? Yeah. Let's get a nice little close-up director on Eric. Zoom into him. There we go. <laughs> now, dear listener, longtime fans know Eric, the unpaid paid intern, for sure. He hasn't been here in a while, though, because he's been busy. He, uh... It's been in the facial recognition uh, <laughs> industry. The what was the newest one? Uh, consumer brain imaging technology. A- consumer brain imaging <laughs> technology, folks. That sounds like something from Blade Runner. That sounds like I'm not. I'm not don't tell me yet. It sounds like when I'm watching those movies. I think it was in Minority Report when they're like you're walking down the sidewalk and all of a sudden an ad for something you like pops up next to you on a wall. Is that what happens? You're gonna start scanning our brains? Uh, no. <laughs> <laughs> he wouldn't tell us if I was right anyway. All right, what is it? Uh, so basically, it's a, oh, I'm sorry. Okay. Oh, uh, it's it's a headband that monitors uh, EEG data from the prefrontal cortex uh, to like determine how focused you are doing a certain activity and you tell it the system like what you're doing and then it'll make connections about what you do best and how you can do it better whoa i do understand it so if i am doing if i'm painting let's say and there's a part of my brain that we have identified which sends off signals more when i'm painting is that true is that what you're saying well yeah in in your prefrontal cortex i I don't remember the. I think it's your high beta and. Yeah, that's low, it. Yeah, that's it's it. High beta wave, low, low beta. <laughs> your beta waves basically. There's a. You can look at the shifts to correlate how focused somebody is. Um, in short, that's the short version. I don't think I can talk too much about the. Whoa! What it, <laughs> you can't even talk to. about this shit, folks. <laughs> Are you wearing one right now? Uh, no. It's Under like, all that hair? Uh, Do you have a? <laughs> no. And Is he trying to look like you, Brett? Have you noticed yeah, that? What the fuck? <laughs> I've been thinking that. Look at his beard. It's Dude, like, you're Amish. trying to look like Brett. Is he your hero? What? No. He is kind of. <laughs> no. Uh, Have you been pumping? Have you been lifting weights? Oh, uh, no. My doctor said I gained 20 pounds in a month, and I also had internal bleeding, but then he just said, I don't know what causes that. Sometimes that just happens, so <laughs> we don't... I don't know. <laughs> Something's just wrong Eric. with my body. <laughs> He eats Eric. candy for breakfast. <laughs> Eric, Eric, let's all slow down a second here. Okay, you have a sweet job. You must be getting some money now, right? Yeah. Okay, do you have health insurance? Yeah. And your doctor said don't worry about it? <laughs> yeah. Well, he ordered, well. Are you short playing this? Well, I'm Are you a, downplaying this? I'm a hypochondriac, so my insurance company told me they're not going to give me any more CT scans for the year. Um, so... <laughs> I have to wait it out, I guess. <laughs> wait, you've done too many? Yeah, I was in the emergency room four times in the past three months. What the fuck, man? Are you okay? <laughs> oh, yeah. They said I was being hypochondriac. None of the times there was anything? Well, there was one time that there were, like, the internal bleeding, they were worried about that. Um, and then there was the allergic reaction to the stuff they gave me for the internal bleeding. Oh, um, my God. <laughs> 
Dude, how am I going to make fun of you if you're internal <laughs> bleeding? Well, I don't think it's doing it anymore. Uh, oh, then let's jump in. It just happens sometimes. <laughs> Eric, I hate to hear that. Jesus. But you're saying a doctor says it's okay? Yeah, he said it was fine. It's fine. Whatever that means. <laughs> he said sometimes that just happens. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's do a scene on that from these mystery improvisers. I'm gonna let them do it. Yeah, I just haven't. I haven't been um, feeling myself uh, lately since the last I saw you. Okay. Okay. Um. Yeah. Let's sit up on the table. Okay. Oh, this feels good. This feels like I'm back where I should be. Um. Yeah. Oh, okay, got it. It's that overall sensation again. Um, the just something is just off. Okay, well, your tests are back and everything's fine. Mm -hmm. So, again, I'm going to have to say that I, th I don't think there's anything wrong with you. Yeah, I'm going to let's just let's just agree to disagree for the moment and like let's go a little bit deeper cuz I I paid for the appointment that's such a short amount of time. Okay, you can sit here for a little while if you want, but I mean, we, we got all the test results back and Doctor, we con we confirmed that there is internal bleeding, a lot of it, but it's fine. Yeah. Wait, what? That's normal. It's sometimes normal. It, sometimes like, it happens. Is it my is it my period? Is that that's ex? I'm pretty sure that's external bleeding. Well, then I don't I don't understand how that's normal. And sometimes it to happens. be fair, I think period starts internally and then goes external. But this this is uh, the upper. You're in your torso. There's a lot more than I've ever seen internal bleeding, but it's fine. In my general in my general torso, just every everywhere. Oh, everywhere. Usually it's around like one organ because it's emanating from that organ this looks like every organ organ is is erupting or something it looks it actually if you didn't know it was tied to a human you'd say it's it's like a beautiful kaleidoscope what's happening inside you oh my god but it's a lot of internal bleeding and it's fine okay okay yeah, I, it should be fine god I, I, this is it's, this is weirdly sort of exactly what i've been waiting to hear you know like something is wrong that, well, but it's, it's nothing, okay but nothing's wrong but some but i was right but I'm gonna be okay. That's sort of what every hypochondriac dreams of. I'm right, but I'm so not gonna die. So you're happy that something was wrong, but you're gonna be fine. What else would you want to come into the doctor? I mean, I mean, it's it's a horrible feeling to be told you're completely crazy. <laughs> I'm not. I was right, righter than you. Your nurse just told me. I know. Yes, you're right. My nurse did just just say that. Okay, but he also said that there's it's it's fine. I know that's what I'm saying. It's my perfect. It's my perfect situation. Well, then this is going to be a hit. I'm a hit at cocktail parties. I, now. I'm sorry. I'm still here. But do you mind if I show it to everybody else in the hall, just because it is? Yeah, it's my yeah, usual. It's my yeah. kaleidoscope. Wow, what a lot of internal bleeding. Is that any was, of it? That's like a pollock. I know. That's like a pollock if he just like like jumped the shark. You mean after he if, was shitty? No, uh, that yeah, like like if he just went t did too much. Do you know what I mean? Like oh, he yeah. He wasn't going yeah, after yeah, a natural yeah, yeah. organic effect, and he just was like, let it all Too out. Too much Pollock. Too much Pollock. Yeah. Thank you. Oh, my God. Thank you. I don't know if that's a compliment. I, oh. I guess unless Shoot. you don't like Pollock, <laughs> there should be more. But uh, anyway, good luck with that, but you're fine. I'm fine. Great. Thank you. I'm right. And I'm right. Okay. <laughs> and scene. <laughs> Is that what's happening, Eric? That scene right there? Oh uh, yeah, mostly. Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> so uh, while we wait, I want to introduce who we just performed here: Aaron Whitehead, Nick Mander. How am I saying this? Mandernock. Mandernock. Nice. I yeah, said it. Totally. Awesome. And uh, Matt Newell. Yes. Awesome. Did I really do them all? I said I'm all right. That's yeah, you great. did. Okay, I've seen some of these guys on Herald Night, some of them in a workshop he, I recently did, and we're going to bring some more people in here later. Zach Woods is about to arrive. Eric, the unpaid intern, is here. What can we have people do live? What was that? I forgot. They can just... What? No, I'm not asking you. Uh, Thomas. They can type They can on. call in. Yeah. They can't call in. No, they can't call in. You can uh, write on YouTube, on the YouTube comments. Oh, yeah. Sure. If you're watching. Yeah, All right. Any chat. questions for Eric, the unpaid intern? How about that? <laughs> That'll be good. So go to, uh, I guess you're already there if you're listening now, but uh, go there and ask Eric anything. Okay, guys. While we're waiting, let's uh, do a YouTube video. I want to wait. I want to wait for Zach. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Don't worry about it. It happens every live show. Have a seat, my brother. Zach Woods, everybody. Give him a hand. Come on. Yeah. 
I know, it's weird to pop into a live show. Um, that's how they used to be in the old days. People just drop by the set, right? No? <laughs> no, seriously, this happens every show. Okay. No, it's, it's, it's traffic time. Okay, Zach, this is what we're going to do. What you've, the only thing you've missed is me introducing these improvisers right here, Matt Newell, Nick Manderock, and Aaron Whitehead. And uh, this is Eric, the unpaid intern. Have you ever been on a show with him before? Uh, yeah, he well, looks a little different. I think that was like six months ago. Yeah. But he was counting. Okay. Just a little more energy, oh. Eric. Okay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you look more counterculture now. Like what? More like, well, he looks more like yeah, Brett. Right, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's crazy. Okay, so, yes. Eric, we sent you out, I think a few weeks ago now, to a USC Trojans uh, football game. Is that where you went? Yeah. A tailgate? Yeah. Okay. And to me, that just makes me laugh picturing Eric at a, at a tailgate, especially the way he looks now. But, uh... <laughs> And you know nothing about football, right? Uh, no, not really. <laughs> <laughs> so how many weeks ago was this? Uh, three or four. Do you remember who they were playing? Um, no. <laughs> um, did you stay the whole, did you go to the game or stay around? Uh, no. Okay. That's okay. You don't have to but, be interested in it. No, um, I've, you were about the tailgate, yeah. right? Right? Yeah. Okay, um, so uh, is there any setup we need, or should we just jump into these? Uh, well, there was one interview in there where the guy had like a really interesting story about how he was protecting uh, some like important person in Africa while he was. Okay, was, okay, you don't have to tell a story. Oh, no, I, I fucked the interview up and had to re-record it, so it sounds funny. <laughs> That's just <laughs> okay. And what else? And what was the other thing you had to set up? Oh, that was it. Oh, so it's just one interview? Oh, no, there's a there's a few interviews, but I also sent them. I'm not sure which order I sent them into Brett, so they might. All right, let's let's dive in. But okay. are we going to listen to all four? Is it worth it, Brett? Have you heard them? I haven't heard them. Oh, yet. yeah, and the first one, you got to cut it 59 because I, I messed that recording up, too. Oh, he's talking about Let's jump in. Okay. All right, so who's your favorite athlete on the team right now, Marquis Lee? All right, how much do you think the coach is paying him? Probably nothing because we run a squeaky clean program. Absolutely. $20 and so, million. And so what it like, what besides like the Did I tell you to do that? Was I think so. the form of NCAA corruption you've ever witnessed? <laughs> Miami, what happened with that? They bought prostitutes for their players. Okay. And took them on yachts and stuff. All right, and so what's the craziest moment in sports history you've ever witnessed? KU winning the national championship in basketball. Uh, with, so you don't, you don't seem very Mario. enthused right now. How's the game going? The game's going well. We're winning. You're, going, you're winning? This That's is good. during the game? So why do the Trojans This is like, so this is halftime. Um, we like, don't suck. Tiffin sucks. Who's Tiffin? Kiffin. Who's Kiffin? It sounds like they're both you. He's their coach. <laughs> you even wait, wait, freeze, freeze. Did you fuck up the interview and you just recreated it by yourself? No, no. It's exactly the same voice. <laughs> okay. Let's move on to the African American gentleman. Is that what you called him? No, no. I said he was volunteering in Africa as oh. like some Peace Corps thingy. Okay. And then, sorry, I misinterpreted that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's listen to that one. Was that number two? I think so. I'll okay. let you know. Excuse me, sir. Oh, I know. You ever um, broken a bone? No, that's not it. Uh, no. All right. So tell me, <laughs> what is the biggest form of NCAA corruption you've ever witnessed? <laughs> We're doing interviews for uh, an Earwolf podcast. I'm thinking, I've seen a lot. The biggest form of NCAA corruption? Yeah. That you've witnessed. Um, Besides uh, Pete Carroll. Probably John Calipari and all his antics. Okay, and then so why do the Trojans suck so much? Uh, leadership. What are you talking about? Lane uh, Kiffin isn't. I mean, I Shane like Lane Kiffin. Kiffin. Lane Kiffin. I like Lane Kiffin, but uh, I don't think he is a championship caliber head coach. <laughs> takes, uh, takes a certain kind of person to, to, to win. I want to hear the one you said was a good story. Okay, go, go to the next one. <laughs> okay, so oh, yeah. tell me again, because I this fucked is... the recording up. Yeah. What about the, the corruption first with the NCAA? Well, specifically about USC, I mean, I, I'm an alumni, but from the beginning, I knew it's all about the image. We're in LA, 
it's this Hollywood image of, uh, of being perfect, of having the best. And so with USC, obviously we're willing to pay our players to play completely against the regulations just because, you know, it's all about, you know, looking good, getting our uh, donors to be funding us. All right, and then yeah. before I messed up this uh, <laughs> recording, you told me about a trip in Africa. Yeah. Can you tell me that again from the beginning? Well, it wasn't much of it. It was Peace Corps experience. I was there for two years um, in Cameroon. Uh, and we got evacuated where I was in this country, 10 regions, one region I was in. We got evacuated because Boko Haram, they, they're funded by Al-Qaeda and Hezbollah. And we got kid well, we got evacuated because they kidnapped the French family. And uh, Were you guys like in charge of monitoring the family? No, no, no. We, we were there completely separate. We're, they, you know, the, we're good. We're, the family was there because they work there. They're, you know, they're, they're getting money from Africa. We're there to help Africa. We're, we're there to help, help the work with the Cameroonians. That's they, what uh, Do they play football in Cameroon? <laughs> they play soccer. And soccer, though. So that's the story? Yeah, I Lenzo. remembered it being a lot more interesting. <laughs> <laughs> I, I didn't understand what the story was. Did you guys? Well, the first time he told it, it was a really good story, but... Uh-huh. It, I don't understand. He was in Peace Corps, and what happened with Al-Qaeda? Well, so, like, this terrorist group kidnapped one of the... It was, like, they were in, like, this village, and there was this French family there or something, and some terrorist like group that's funded by al-qaeda kidnapped them and so they had to make all the peace corps people go somewhere else i don't it was like it was i now in, like in retrospect it doesn't seem very interesting no but, that's good let's do something like okay that. hey peace corps guys you guys are all new volunteers give yourselves a hand for being a volunteer first off yeah, yeah. really happy to have you over here um Tomorrow, actually, we're going to start uh, digging the drainage ditches for uh, to get rid of the mosquito population around here that's spreading malaria. Terrific. Um, it's not going to be much fun, but it's really going to help this village. Um, but right away, we have to escape the Al Qaeda right now. What? They're going to try the. Uh, they always try to kidnap Americans, and they wait around the airport. So we're going to have to battle the Al Qaeda. Um, for the next probably hour, that's on average, just to get. We are battling. We're battling them. Well, evading mostly. I shouldn't have said battle. Okay, you, you specifically said in the brochure that this was going to be drain digging. Okay, okay. Right. I don't. I don't write the brochures. Okay. I'm just one of many volunteers. Fair. But well, go ahead. They were beautiful brochures, and they were encouraging about what this experience was going to be like. Right. Aesthetically, okay. they were nice, and in terms of content, they were nice. Well, they're brochures. I mean, they're. A, one piece of paper folded. It's not a book. We can't tell you everything. It, it did say we would be battling hunger and right. poverty. See, battling so. was in there. Yeah. I knew battling applied somehow. So. Just any verb can be paired with any other noun. Any verb from the brochure can be paired with any other nouns to totally remake the meaning from the brochure? Listen, if we put you'll be evading the Al-Qaeda, would you guys be here? No. no. It said evade boredom. Yeah. It said we'd be evading okay. boredom. Okay, there you go. We didn't lie. It's not going to be boring. You will not be yawning for the next hour, believe me. I wish I was back at you guys Bates. Seem right really now. upset. This just, is Peace Corps. Just going exactly, all the, Peace Corps. Yeah. Peace. Right. We're not going to kill anyone. We're going to avoid being. We want peace. We avoid the Al Qaeda. I joined the Peace Corps because I was getting bullied at my liberal arts school. I couldn't handle the <laughs> level of conflict in a liberal arts school in Maine. And now I'm going to yeah. fight the most fearsome. Do you think li there's much difference between Al Qaeda and liberals? The ideologies are equally as stubborn. I was in the gender studies program, so it was radical liberation theologists and feminists, and they see, did not like me. See, the only difference is feminists don't usually blow themselves up and take innocent civilians out to prove a point. There's just there's not that much difference, and I think you're going to acclimate to it right away. Well, you know, guys, I came here to help the people here, and uh, I'm going out. I'm going out. I'm going to evade them. Okay, should have stuck oh. with the group. But let's see what happens to him. Oh, oh my God. shit. Don't look. Don't look. Oh, he blew up. Oh Immediately. Well. He just blew up. He immediately. Well, the whole reason I came on this trip was because he was here. I was just hoping he would want to date me. I'm not this kind of person. You knew him? Yeah. 
people from afar. Didn't, you didn't know me. I didn't know we could sign up with friends. I didn't know we were. That was to such do a that. targeted explosion. Do they just I don't know. Did they preload him with explosives? Because he just stepped him on a mine. They have the mine. The mine. The in mine front on of the, the ground. In front of the Cinnabon. Yeah, that you think they have a special area town for mines for people know not to walk. I, don't, I, I told you they come. This is where people Americans land. This is like uh, the dock when you fish. On the brochure, there was a there was a picture of a zip line and a, a kindly looking young white man with a great grateful looking you know um, African child. First off, the zip line got blown up last week. What? Just to be fair, it was cool. I can't believe they have Cinnabon here. I would not recommend going. Oh, go to that one now, because there's not likely to be two mines. Not likely. Okay, I'm going to get a bun. Why? This guy. From now on, no one don't. God oh damn my it. God. Oh, my God. God they, damn it. They did have two. They had two. And also, I said, don't leave the group. We're going to get into a, a vehicle with armored plates on the bottom. Why you guys start... Taken that. off into the country. You mentioned that so far into this conversation. <laughs> well, what the hell? You don't just, just who lands in a foreign country and just starts marching out into the streets? It's crazy. You go with who's picking you up. Next in line, Cinnabon. Uh -huh. Next in line. Oh, do you, do you, there's no line. He go seems ahead, really no nice. Line. He just seems really friendly. There's no line. Go no, ahead. He doesn't. His eyes are f full of darkness. I feel like that's a. Judgment. I'll be right. It's certainly right a judgment. Back. It's a judgment based on previous. God damn it! <laughs> that wasn't even a full explosion. <laughs> Your know. arms are just gone. No, it's, sometimes it's better. As a matter of fact, take this gun, shooter. What? No, just my arm. Believe me, she's gonna die anyway. No, just my I'm, no, she's gonna bleed out. We're not gonna no. get to a hospital. I'm sorry. In time. I have. I'm very receptive to authority. No. I'm so sorry. No. I'm so... No. Here, just p put this bun in your mouth. Oh, no. <laughs> now you are in Peace Corps. <laughs> <laughs> Insane. That's how you get in Peace Corps, Eric. So, did anyone get mad when you said the Trojan sucked? Uh, well, I don't think my mic's on. What? Oh, um... Do you need your mic to be on to hear? No, I... Okay, go ahead. Sure, okay. Um... No. Well, one guy was said, one guy didn't let me interview him, but he didn't know I was going to say the Trojan sucked, so I don't think that counts. Mm -hmm. um, but other than that, no. Okay. <laughs> they were all pretty. They all just said, either answered with because leadership uh -huh. or something to that effect. So you basically got a lot of sports answers that you didn't understand. Yeah. Okay. Fair enough. I thought you'd get more. Uh... Yeah, it was surprising how many people didn't get mad. <laughs> 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 I did like how you adjusted your interview style, though. I, I gave you the note. I said, just go up and start asking. <laughs> I loved how you did that. You ever break a bone? <laughs> so funny. All right, let's do a YouTube video. Let's crap on YouTube. Crap on YouTube. Okay, this is a fight over poor trumpet playing. Yeah, suck! How dare you think that you would have anybody else? Get out! Get out! No, you go. I'm not going anywhere, shithead. Get the fuck out of my head. Freeze it, freeze it. Get out! <laughs> <laughs> okay, for the listeners who isn't watching this, it's a video on a, on a sidewalk, and it's a guy, like, with a trumpet, you know, he's... Uh, no, let's keep the picture up. Uh, whoa! Jeez. It's a guy with a trumpet who is uh, a street performer, you assume, and then just some little squat dude screaming at him that I guess he sucks at playing trumpet, so let's keep going. Let's make it wide, though. We don't need to see us. No, you go. I'm not going anywhere, shithead. Get the fuck out of my neighborhood. Get out! I'm a left handed guitarist. You go. Get the fuck out. Get the fuck out. Oh my god. So now the freeze, freeze, freeze. 
Yeah. Holy shit, this is the best thing I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> so now, can you keep it full, please? Because I can't, when you go small, I can't see it. Okay, so now the guy, the guy complaining has his handbag, his bag over his shoulder like he's going to hit the trumpet player. But the trumpet player is aggressively playing trumpet at him. The middle that he took out his iPhone and just you checked it out for a second. Smile, you little like, pip. Go work to play. It feels like he's talking about his whole life. Go work to play. Yes. Like that's what we're seeing. You're flat. <laughs> you can't even carry a fucking note. I don't care about your little like horn lip. It doesn't mean that you know how to play. You're flat. I'm trained classically. I'm trained contemporaneously. All and right, you enough. suck. Go away. No. 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 That was the best clip we've ever played on the show. <laughs> That's exactly the kind of clips I want on this show. That was so... F Let's do something then. All right, Riot Squad. Huddle up. Downtown Los Angeles is in flames, so I need you guys to all suit up. Here are your coordinates. Coordinates? Your coordinates, yeah. There's a horn instrument. You guys are going to need that if you're going to soothe this crowd. Oh, I thought you said coordinates at first. Coordinates? No, this is a this is a more compact version of the trumpet. It's going to get you a higher register. You're going to need. Okay, I think that this. I thought we were going to throw rocks and fire. I thought we. I, brought, I made the Molotov gonna, cocktails for some reason. That's not going to soothe. That's going to antagonize. Sir, right. sir, so I don't. Riot. I don't want to step. I don't want to step out of line. And I, you being my superior, but is mm -hmm. this is this to do with your musical vendetta again, sir? I, I'm not going to lie. Of course, I was just rejected to Juilliard. Um, but I firmly, firmly believe, I firmly believe that this is the best way for us to handle this operation. And officers, I hope that you're there, there with me. I, I don't play, but I, I will give it my my best. Excellent. You play the cornet? Absolutely. Absolutely, you say. Mm -hmm. Well, I don't think any of us do. I didn't even, no. it took me like, you saying it five times to even understand what I you're talking what about. Mm -hmm. 
It's like a horn. <laughs> I mean, we're just going to blow into it. We might like let's that, that, let's light enough. off some M80s. That'll be louder than a cornet, right? <laughs> Oh, you actually know. Pretty good. Wow. My dad made me learn part of Margaritaville when I was a kid. Oh, my God. I don't know how effective that's going to be as crowd control, though, sir. Oh, are, are you kidding me? Just look look what happened. We all were silent while we mm-hmm. were listening. Am I wrong? Oh, Am I wrong? It was more su- out of surprise that he could actually play it. I can just play that one passage. Oh. My dad was a I could big-time probably... parrot head. And... Was that, that was Margaritaville? Oh, yeah, yeah. Mm. Okay. Especially at the end. You have to say it, I think. Powerful. Before. Powerful. Okay. I'm just going to use my... I'm going to have a gun. Is that okay? Oh, my God. That is my more gun. The, on the long lines. Yeah, yeah. I was thinking. A gun. Classic uh, riot. Okay. Well, a handgun. A handgun. That's fine. You, if you, um, if you want fine. a percussive instrument, I have castanets, and I will pass them out to you right now. I've never heard of any of these instruments. Sir, a castanet. Oh. This is like a traditional Spanish instrument. Mm-hmm. <laughs> All due respect, sir, you've been delegating a lot of our... Uh, crowd control budget to auxiliary percussion instruments. You've been going to Sam Ash music. Absolutely, guitar center. We don't have body armor. You don't need it. You don't need When you can really sue the soul, you won't need it. The best battle is the one not fought. We had a hostage crisis yesterday, and I went in the equipment cabinet, and there's just a bunch of keytars in there. Mm-hmm. And did you jam? No. And, I, and that's w- why you're going to be dismissed from this force. What? You didn't jam. You didn't jam. Fredericks, you didn't jam. There was a hospice hostage situation. Correct. Correct. What? Let me ask you, what kind of emotional state do you think uh, that gentleman was in at the moment where he's holding a gun to a young man's head? He what, was agitated. Agitated, yes. What do you do when you're agitated? What do I do? Yeah. I'm, I'd rather not answer that. What do you do, Fredericks? Is that an order to that's answer an order. That Absolutely, that's an order. I go... F- nah. I go fuck with animals. Not what? I don't have sex with them, but I antagonize them. I I don't fuck with I don't have I don't fuck animal. I fuck with animals. I okay. go fuck with animals. None of us thought you fucked them, no. even when you said it. Well, the just first to be clear, time. I'll go find an. I'll pick on an animal. Um, okay. You said I go fool around. We might have misinterpreted. No, it's not horseplay. It's not grab ass. I'm fucking <laughs> okay. with them. I mean, I. I give the them a first time, time you said it, we're all like, oh, yeah. he's throwing rocks with, at him. With or is the big, th- yeah. You just fuck animals, then we would be like, oh. Like, I'll, I'll watch a squirrel for two hours bury nuts, and then I'll dig up those nuts and okay. bury them in different positions. It's just going to find other nuts. I was looking for listen to music. That's what I was fishing for in that answer. <laughs> wow, Frederick, you learned a lot <clears throat> about you right now. I, listen to music. Sorry. Absolutely. Okay. Absolutely. Now, some of you seems like you don't have instrument talents. You're not instrumentalist. That's okay. You have the talent of no, voice. I know how to bust some some hippie ass is what I know how to do. That's <laughs> how what I learned in the academy is fucking fuck shit up. Fuck shit up. Show those fucking occupied dumbasses who's boss. Wow. I know. The, I know I one boss. Get this music thing. I'll tell you who's boss. Bruce Springsteen. He's the boss. Why is he? Why do they call him the boss? Um, he makes people. He's working class. He's working class. Yeah, working class uh, makes music. Okay, that's a boss to me. You know, until you just said it, I never thought about why do they call yeah, him the right. boss? Because who wants? Because he is supposed to be like blue collar. Who wants to yeah. be the boss? He controls the masses. He can control Staples Stadium. I'll be with honest. One man. I wish we had a different boss, because. Day in, day out, it's this bullshit. And then I go home. Yesterday, I bought an African gray beak parrot, and I just played the king's speech for it so that, so it would have a stutter. Wow. That's how frustrated I was. You I spent a lot with of the money. animal that much. Yeah, I took a long time, and I had to buy a Blu-ray player because I bought the Blu-ray DVD, and it won't play on a normal player. And I had so pent up from work. Mm-hmm. But by the end of the movie, he can speak good. No, I only played the beginning oh, okay. and the special. Some mm-hmm. of the special features when they talked about how Colin Firth learned to stutter. Oh, okay. Was, That's... was the parrot aware that he was stuttering, or that he was just that, copying? Him? We cut to the recording of that DVD track. All right, so uh, you're going to be, you're the one who trained him how to stutter, Colin Firth? That's correct. Okay, and are you a dialect coach? Uh, I am. Yeah, okay. I can do. Okay, you ready to explain how you taught him how to stutter? Sure. I, well, I don't, I don't want to revert to shop talk. But What's a DVD? People are tuning well, in to hear this. I had him repeat 
the consonants mm -hmm. that begin words. Teach me. Well, you're not a trained professional. It can be dangerous. Oh, well, let's pretend it's the first lesson. Okay. Um, it's like the king's speech when he gets taught. What's your favorite word? Oh, wow. I never even really thought Most of people, that. It's their name. Their own name Most is their favorite their word? Name. Be honest, if we're honest. And if we're going to work together, we need to be honest with each other. My favorite word is Allison, and that is my name. Okay, that's not. Can I? That's not my favorite word. That I don't want to be pressured well, my name into is saying. What's your? But what's your favorite word? It seems like you want me to say my name. Say Why didn't you just ask me what my name? name? Okay, my name is Matt. But that's not. That's Listen, definitely look not at my your favorite. Face when you said Matt, it was like a Christmas tree that someone plugged out. in. You're freaking me out. You came alive like Noel had come. I don't even think of my name as a word as far Matt, as that goes. Look at you. Which I just keep your face. I defy you to keep a stony visage when I say Matt. Look at <laughs> you. Look at you. You're right. I found your favorite word. It's not my favorite word, but it does make me laugh. How you're. It's a delightful word. Matt. <coughs> Sunset. Door Matt. What? Sunset is no, my favorite no word. That's no one's favorite word. That's the death of day. That's no, day it's death. beautiful. I think when I think of sunset, it makes me happy. So anyway, do your thing with sunset. Are you going to refuse my favorite word in your lesson? I don't work with liars. <laughs> Look, I'm just supposed to be recording this for the DVD. Well, I'm sorry. But, uh, you're you're very much frustrating. I'm me. sorry. It's not like you're the director or anything. Well, I'm the director of uh, phonetics and speech in this. This is my domain. You know, I'm going to turn off record for a second. Don't you dare. You motherfucker. Oh, you stutter. Everybody son of a bitch. knows how you to stutter. Cunt. I will it's just, fucking just, just, knife just, 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 just stutter. Got, oh, oh how see, dare I can do you. it. I'll bring my wife in here and she'll kick you in your own mouth. Why don't you? Because I'm Why is your wife a pacifist. Here? But my wife is. Uh, she. You pe hey, wait, you Peace Corps? Yeah, I was. I was Peace Corps uh, you were? Division uh, 87. We fought the Al Qaeda. You're kidding. Yeah, yeah. Are you down there? No, but uh, I was in North Korea. All my friends died in front of a churro stand. <laughs> <laughs> that made me laugh. Okay, let's do... Oh, that was so good. That video, man. <laughs> that guy was like Gillows. I just want to do scene after scene about that. That was so much fun. I love, let's just, he was just, he was so, do you think he yells like that at people all the time, or that guy just touched a nerve? Because he's a musician, obviously. I think something must have happened to him earlier that, that like, that sounded like he was, like, reciting his dad or his mom <laughs> or something. It felt like deep childhood uh, rage to me. Oh, it was so fucking funny, though. Yeah. But I mean, I feel like I've been that passionate about <laughs> improv, for instance. Yeah. Like, I could see me at 70 having a senile breakdown <laughs> on a short form improviser <laughs> on the sidewalk <laughs> in front of the UCB. Get the, the fuck out of here! <laughs> you know what, neighbor? This is doing improv, it's short form improv! <laughs> Freeze. <laughs> <laughs> All right, enough, buddy. Shut up! 41 years. <laughs> I've known Grateful Dead since 1966. <laughs> he walked Dylan up on the stage, he said. He was on the periphery of a lot of important musical <laughs> moments. Oh. That was great. <laughs> so he, he referenced was, Bill Graham. Because I, I have a master's from NYU, sucker. <laughs> <laughs> demeanor too was like this like a little attacking crab yeah it's amazing i love people who are that passionate about hating mediocrity though that's probably what i jived with the most i was like yeah <laughs> i kind of was on his side i mean it was ruthless but i was like yeah fuck that shitty trumpet player being all loud and shitty i'm fucking mad at him too <laughs> But this guy, he felt like he had the right, he had the right to do it because he was a musician, a good one. He, he felt. said not here, but where were they? He kept saying not here. I know. I yeah, he described it as one of the most important places yeah, in, North, yeah. in North America. In North America. Right. <laughs> Thomas, find out. Have you found out yet? You haven't found out where he is yet? Oh my God, Thomas. 
milk truck. Where the guy was? Yeah. He was in New York City. He was? Yeah. Do you know uh, where? No, I don't know where. Okay. What's happening on the YouTube comments now? Anything we should address? Uh, people did send in a bunch of questions for Eric the intern. Let's hear some. <laughs> uh, Eric, what is your favorite color? Uh, green. What? <laughs> stupid question. Okay, however. yeah, that was stupid. Uh, if you had an intern, what would you have them do? Hmm, that's a good one. Um, uh, like at my job? All right, just move on. Okay. <laughs> you can have them do anything. What do you mean, like a job? No, I mean like what at my job. What interns did? Like, I don't know. It's, it's just your intern like, for your he, life. Like, would he be at my house still? Yeah, it's whatever you want. Um, <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> uh, I guess I don't know. I'd have him like take out like the trash, and things like that. Mm, it's a big learning experience. <laughs> I don't know what I'd have him do. Okay, one more. Uh, Where do you see yourself in five years' time? Oh, that's good. Um, Mars, probably. Uh. Hopefully, at the same job that I'm at now. Really? <laughs> Hopefully. <laughs> well, then that's probably going to happen. Okay, cool. <clears throat> it does sound very advanced. It sounds yeah. like uh, he's working for the uh, agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Do you I, know them? Is it? I, no. Am Wait. I saying it right? Yeah. yeah. What's the agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Is that like a TV show? Well, it's a real thing that this TV show is based on. Oh. Who wants to explain agents of S.H.I.E.L.D.? Do you know about them? Uh, they're like the they're like a secret world organization that like they the world police and then they work with superheroes in like the Marvel universe, right? Mm -hmm. And they identify mutants that are out there. And oh, they make, yeah. and they contain them, make sure if they're dangerous or not. We oh yeah, we're more like health and wellness, like yoga. <laughs> Your health and wellness? That is not what it sounds like at all. Yeah, it's like that's you, what you're being told. No, it's like, <laughs> it's like you feel you that is not what's happening. <laughs> Zach wasn't here when you explained what you do. Say ex again what you're into right now. Uh, it's consumer brain imaging technology. It's like a headband that reads EEG data from your prefrontal cortex and then makes generalizations about your daily routine and tells you how you can do it better. Tell me that isn't going to be brainwashing us pretty That's soon. That's terrifying. So you, it reads your reaction to various stimuli and then <coughs> records the data. Yeah, so you tell the system, like, hey, I drank coffee while I was doing improv and I did it better so you know over time it tracks that kind of, i mean that's a really simple but wait, are you are you responsible for entering in the thing like okay so i did this and it worked better or is it just telling from your okay, brain Zach, what's going and here's on? A, a bowl of cereal and let me just see you eat cereal as you would eat it in the morning okay yeah okay let's see here click 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 oh very interesting just don't look at me because you wouldn't be looking at me in the morning mm -hmm. let's keep it at the same pace Okay. Oh, very interesting. I'm sorry. Your uh, frontal cortex is glowing. All right. Let's see the oh. readout. Sure. What, what's going on? No, I just, uh, what does that indicate? I mean, is that the part of you that's activated when you are consuming <coughs> nutrition? Or? Well, there's different. You wouldn't understand it, so it's hard for me to explain. But uh, what's happening is we saw how you can eat cereal better. Oh. You could eat cereal five times faster. Is that better? You I could mean, have I been more focused. Right. This readout says that you could eat according to the pace you went right there. Thank you. Yeah. It says that you could eat five times faster. Well, that, okay. Yeah, I could. It would be. Isn't that great to know? And then you could be to your job and getting done that into that faster and then on to your date or whatever's fun or. I spent seventeen hundred dollars <laughs> yeah. um, on this scan and mostly what you've told me is that I should do simple tasks at an unpleasurably urgent pace. <laughs> it, we're trying to make your life more efficient by scanning your brain. We can see how to, you can improve your life. Okay, okay. Let's Maybe see I'm how you listen to this iPod. Sure. Just put it on your Terrific. favorite song. Okay. Okay. You listening to your favorite song? Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm, very interesting. Oh, you're very good at listening <laughs> to Thank songs. You. <laughs> you're in the... Uh, 85th percentile of s song listeners. You're really good at listening to songs. Uh, thank you. What is that? Just a hearing test? What's hard? And done. Okay, let's look at the readout. You could improve your song listening, though. You could do it two times faster. 
I could not unless I sped it up and it was like a Chipmunks version of the song, which would be disrespectful because my favorite song is the National Anthem. Really? Yeah. Is that funny? By Jimi Hendrix? No. Not that version? <laughs> By John Philip Sousa. Oh, my God. My, I okay. grew up on a military, I was a military brat, and I grew up, and that I associate that sound with, it was my home. You could enjoy it. You could listen to it, well, twice as fast. You could listen to it twice in the same time you used to, used to listen to it once. So you get twice the enjoyment. I would not get twice the enjoyment. I like you. The, you get to see it, hear it twice as much. It's like if I had some cake and gave you twice as much, it'd be awesome. Is that what it's like? Yeah. I'm something you like. Listen. Hey, do you want one blowjob or two blowjobs? One. <laughs> really? Blow Don't job. be obstinate. I'm not being obstinate. You only want one blowjob? Two blowjobs? Yeah. That night. Honey, I just, I'd, re- I'd love to do another one. I'm sorry, but you're, I don't need a wife who is like a sexual Costco, okay? I'm happy to have just, I don't need to buy in bulk, okay? It was a lovely blowjob. Buy and in bulk. <laughs> buy in bulk? I'm sorry. I shouldn't use commerce terminology to describe our sex life. Oh, but my God. I'm sorry. I just, I just feel like if we can get twice as much done in half the time, I'm not worried about me. You because are doing you so have right. a get it done energy. The reason that blowjob was so fast is because you were work, workman like. You didn't, you didn't enjoy that. I enjoyed it fine, but it felt to me like you were shoveling mulch or painting a gutter. I mean, it. <laughs> That's why I'm saying, let me try, let me try again. Okay. Let me try, let me try again. Okay, okay, we can do this. But I have high sensitivity, and I, and and also I like to have a sensual. Uh, Time. I like. <laughs> do you want to put your song on? Yes, please. You want to put your song on? Yes, and we'll, and thank we'll do you. It. Yeah. I'm sorry. I'm Baby. being defensive. No, I just you know we've both been into this 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 focus study and I'm 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 just trying to make our life more enjoyable and and more efficient. I will say this. If I put the song on, you're going to have to give me a blowjob standing up because I will not remain seated. I would love it. Would <laughs> and love it. scene. <laughs> Folks, give Aaron Whitehead, Nick Mandarock, and Matt Newell a hand for joining us today. We're going to bring in the next three guys. Don't leave, though, guys. We might have you come in at the end, too. Okay. <laughs> come on in, guys. Can you hear the show out there? Uh, so what do we, do we have more YouTube videos? Yeah. Okay. And do we, let's have another Eric question while we're bringing in the other three. Hello. Welcome. Hey. Hey. Eric, uh, we leave, like you. how much weed do you smoke? Graham McDaniel wants to know. Oh, uh, you look like you smoke a lot. Uh, I no. actually don't smoke weed. But <laughs> he doesn't. Don't. That's do you good. do any drugs? No. Do you drink? Uh, socially. <laughs> You never drink angrily? No. <laughs> Were you drinking at the tailgate? Uh, no, no one invited me to drink with them at the tailgate. <laughs> but it was, I think it was halftime, and I think, I'm not even sure if it was the tailgate, to be honest. Because one people, there were a couple kids by the dumpster that I interviewed, and I'm not sure if they were actually part of the tailgate. And then, <laughs> by the dumpster? <laughs> yeah. Stay away from those dumpster kids. <laughs> and then the rest of them... I'm pretty sure it was a tailgate. There was, like, tables. Yeah. Thomas, another question? I like our old intern and new intern sitting next to each other. Uh, what's a rainbow party, Eric? Oh, by the way, this is before and after of what happens to you after you intern. <laughs> <laughs> Turned into rock and roller, Thomas. That's what's going to happen. Um, uh, I'm sorry I missed the question. What was it? It was a callback to our last intern episode, and someone asked, what's a rainbow party? Oh, I looked that up after that. Um, that's, that's where you put on different colors of lipstick, and you give a, uh, a blowjob to... Say... <laughs> that's what it is, right? That's it? <laughs> Wait a minute, say that definition again. I think it's uh, it's where you put on different colors of lipstick and you give a a blowjob to someone, they see how many colors they can accumulate. (laughs) I don't know why you're describing that to me. Let, let's cut to an orgy where you're explaining that to the room, okay? And none of them know what it is. 
<laughs> hey guys, I brought a. I know a lot of you're new to Orgy, and I got this guy from the West oh. Coast here. He's done a lot of orgies, and he had a great okay. suggestion. Eric, man, pitch, pitch him that idea you're talking about. Rainbow party. Uh, you, you take uh, different colors of lipstick, and uh, you give a blowjob. <laughs> what? <laughs> <laughs> you gotta explain it further. Just, oh, they've so, never done it before. That doesn't so make the, sense. Uh, we're all putting on lipstick and doing blowjobs, or just yeah, the ladies. Yeah, no, so. see, see, oh, explain yeah. it. Explain uh, it out. I think it's. I think it's a pretty. From what I, I think. I, I don't know. It's like pretty gender neutral. Anyone can put the lipstick on, and then the. But what makes it job. rainbow? Oh, because like if one person has like red, and then the other person has yellow, and they give a blowjob. But it has to be on the same dick? So the red yeah. has to really be into it. I'll be yeah. honest, Eric. I don't know that any act is going to have the same erotic voltage as hearing you describe <laughs> these things. Sex, <laughs> seems, right. sex seems almost idiotic when you've got the kind of sexual supernova that is that description. You know what, Zach? Now that you say it, when I was in the car and he was telling me, that was what was getting me going. Now I'm thinking about it. Who wants the act? Eric, do you mind just kind of walking us through a rainbow blow job, just <laughs> describing it? Oh, uh... And how did, I'm going to masturbate personally. Uh, you take uh, some lipstick, yeah. uh, different colors. Uh, hold I on. already w- came. Hold on. I already <laughs> really? came. Oh, the nervous matter-of-factness just made me d- explode. Damn it. He didn't even do one circle it around the penis. It didn't matter. I just, just to hear him start in on that topic with a kind of <laughs> dull banality. Well, I can come multiple times, so you can keep going. Yeah, keep going. Uh, so you take the one color of lipstick and... Uh, Which color? Just uh, really set the scene. Probably red. Well, okay, let, let's with. let's just slow down. Let's just, if I can add, there's a big white dick, so you can really see the color as well. <laughs> Terrific. Really pale, pale, <laughs> big old 10, 12 inch, okay? Okay, let's start from there. Red lipstick. Red lipstick. Uh, you put that on, mm-hmm. um, and then you give a blowjob to that. <laughs> I'm sorry, Eric, can you just... Put your voice just a little more in your throat. Oh, Put a uh, little less breath behind it. Here, I'll give you a microphone. Just get really close to it. Uh, you put a... Pl- How do I do it? In the- just more nasal. More nasal and less energy. You can put a, the lipstick on the... Oh, God damn it! The lips, and then you... The next color, like okay, after the Okay, we uh, cut to this guy's house. Zach's house a month later. Hey, dude. Hey, man. Got some recordings. There's a flash drive with a bunch of recordings of Eric. I can't. I can't. You know you like it, man. No, it's ruining my life. No, this is good, man. This is him uh, explaining uh, the blacklist on NBC. (sighs) Listen, Matt, I got fired from my job. I got fired from my job. My boss came in, and I was listening. (sighs) What were you listening to? I was just listening to his outgoing voicemail, (laughs) and I I couldn't stop. Just play it. Play it. (sighs) One more time. I want to hear it. Um. Uh, <laughs> Raymond Reddington. Oh, uh, the Blacklist is an American drama series that premiered on NBC on September twenty third, two thousand thirteen. It stars James Spader. Uh, Megan this is Boone. outgoing message. <laughs> Who is this? <laughs> That's what was killed me. The pilot. You call his phone and he explains the Blacklist. He's. Who is the sexual warlock? And what kind of black magic is he practicing? (laughs) He's bewitched me. He's bewitched me with... Uh, the pilot episode was written. (laughs) (laughs) Directed by... All right, and scene. Oh, my God. (laughs) Oh, that was so much fun. All right, Dan Lippert. Yes, hello. Did I say that right? You did. Molly Bretthauer. Yeah, that's right. Oh. Paul Welch. That's me. All right. These guys are really funny guys. I think I've seen all these guys on Herald Night, and they were killing it. Thank you. All right, so uh, I want to see another YouTube video because I had so much fun with the last one. 
Crap on YouTube. Mm. Okay, this one is called White Genocide. Okay. <laughs> I've been thinking a lot about a phrase I've been hearing, that anti-racist is just a code word for anti-white. It's starting to make sense. They say that they're anti-racist, but what they really are is anti-white. Think about it. <laughs> Nobody says that a black neighborhood needs more diversity. Nobody says that an Asian neighborhood needs diversity. White neighborhoods and only white neighborhoods are said to need more diversity. Can you phrase diversity. this? Can you phrase this? Who says black neighborhoods need diversity? No, I think they're saying, that saying they don't need they diversity. Don't, yeah. that because, because people don't say black neighborhoods need diversity, that means that it's racist when we say, like, if, if people say white neighborhoods need diversity. Oh, who says, that's what I meant to say. Who says white neighborhoods need yeah, diversity? Who says that? No one says that. It's not a public school. No one's interested or pushing that agenda. All right, let's keep hearing Nobody this dumb Nobody says redneck. that a black church needs more diversity. Nobody says that Asian churches need more diversity. <laughs> phrase, phrase. No one says any churches need diversity. Who's saying this? I like the girl that's rubbing the Asian community. <laughs> churches need more diversity. Black pride is seen as good and healthy and normal. Asian pride is seen as good, healthy and normal. But if I show pride in my race, the white race, I'm said to be a Nazi who wants to kill six million Jews. <laughs> if a black... <laughs> this is awesome too. Six million Jews. What was her point there? What'd she say? Just because you're proud of being white, people say that means you're Hitler. That, it's the wow, equivalent. Man. Keep going. Woman wants to date That's inside her race. Camera lens. That's acceptable. If an Asian woman wants to date inside her race, that's acceptable. But if I want to date and marry within my race, the white race, I'm called the R word. Black politicians what? are openly admitting that they are working towards the best interests of their people. Hispanic politicians are openly admitting that they are working towards the best interests of their people. If a white politician were to openly admit that they were working in the best interest of their people, there would be a national scandal, a public outcry, and would be kicked out of office. Throughout elementary school, junior high, high school, and college, I was told that my race, she doesn't the seem white pure race, white to me, was the cause of all the world's problems. She's got some gear. now. Many of you had jobs <laughs> she got where some, minorities uh, say some, things some that would get it. you, as a white person, instantly fired. This conditioning is done to white people and only white people. White children and only white children are being affected by this, and only white countries are doing this. The Aztecs conquered many surrounding <laughs> practiced human sacrifice, and held slaves. Yeah. Yet anti-racist don't say that Mexicans must apologize forever and have their lands forcibly flooded. <laughs> okay, freeze, 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 freeze. So she's comparing to slavery thousands of years ago to our recent slavery? Is that what she was complaining about? Yeah, she's saying we should hold the Mexicans responsible for the... Spanish uh, nice well, as far as that there. goes why don't us Jews get more uh, slave credit we built those goddamn pyramids it should be twice uh, as much we never get any slave credits <laughs> think about it <laughs> keep going and be forced to assimilate the Ottoman Empire attacked white Slavs and took many of them as slaves so much that we get the word slave from the Slavs Hmm? Yet anti-racists sure. don't say that the Turks must apologize forever and have their lands flooded with non-Turks. World history is flooded. a rainbow of violence. Yet all whites and only whites are demonized for this violence. Anti-racism is the code word for anti-white. Resist this conditioning by using this mantra. Africa for the Africans, Asia for the Asians, Whoa. white countries Whoa. for everyone. <laughs> Everybody says that there's this race problem. Everybody says that this race problem will only be solved when the third world pours into white countries and only white countries. 
The Netherlands and Belgium are just as crowded as Japan and Taiwan. But nobody says that Japan and Taiwan will solve this race problem by bringing in millions of third worlders and, quote, assimilating, unquote, with them. Everybody says that the final solution to this race problem is for every white country, and only white country, to assimilate, i.e. intermarry with all those non-whites. Yeah. What if I said that there was this race problem, and that this race problem would only be solved if millions of non-blacks were brought into every black country, and only black countries? How long would it take anyone to realize I'm not talking about a race problem? I'm talking about the final solution to the black problem. And how long would it take any sane black man to notice this? And what kind of psycho black man wouldn't object to this? But if I tell the obvious truth about the ongoing program of genocide against my race, the white race, the obvious truth about the ongoing program of genocide against genocide. my race, the, the ongoing genocide. program of genocide against my race, Wait, what's the, the genocide? White race. But if I tell the obvious truth about the, the ongoing race program mixing is genocide, genocide yeah. against my race, the white race, liberals and respectable conservatives agree that I'm a Nazi who wants to kill six million Jews. They say <laughs> they are anti-race, but what they are is anti-white. Anti-racist is a code word for anti-white. All right, we get it. Wow. That was Genocide. amazing, too. Genocide. <laughs> All right, guys, we're going to be recording a PSA today, and we've been writing the copy for a while, and the writers and the organization were thinking last night, we've overwritten this. You guys are on board with this campaign, so we're just going to at least do a few takes that just improvising, okay? Well, everyone knows that I don't read fast. Everyone knows. I take my time with my words. Okay, you're not going to be reading, you'll be improvising, so it can come out as fast as you want. Okay? Good. Is that the concern? Okay. All right. All right, guys. So remember, which the main point here is purity. That's the campaign word we settled on, purity. Okay? Mm -hmm. You know, make it real, and we're going to be cutting it up. It's going to have a really cool soundtrack. Okay. I'm really excited right. to be a part of this. I'm really excited. Who wants to go first? I want to talk about the Holocaust. Um, yeah, we definitely want to work that in. I want to work in um, some details about the Holocaust because I learned um, that um, six million Jews died. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, so that's a thing that I want to. Okay, say. great. You want to start and just yeah. just try to work that in? But remember, this is about purity. And just, you know, it's really against the blacks. So let's not hit the Jew thing too much. Because Jews are whites, and then it becomes a confusing message. But I love that stat. Great. That's okay. a great stat. It gets people going. Um, so what I want to do is talk about um, six million Jews dying in the Holocaust. Uh, really terrible stuff happened there. Yeah. And that would be like, um, I don't know, uh, I don't have much of a point to make about black people. I just really want to talk about the guys, Holocaust. Guys, Awful cut, stuff. cut, cut, cut. Let's never say black people because we, we don't want people to go, you, you know what I mean? Right. If we can just uh, kind of beat around the uh, bush on that, we'll say it, uh, but not actually uh, ever okay, say just, it. I'm, I'm yeah. sorry. I don't want to interfere mm -hmm. with the recording. You, when, you, uh, when I responded to your thing online, mm -hmm. uh, you said that if I did music for the soundtrack, I'd have usable footage that I could then use to market myself as a yeah, musician. Yeah, dude, I love you, man. You have intense... Thanks. You score some Thank you. fucking intense yeah. PSAs, I'm man. trying to get a lot Thanks of club dates, here. but I don't, have a lot of, uh, I don't have a lot of footage. I, this is not going to be usable for me. Why not? We're really going to feature it. I like to really pump up the soundtrack near the end in particular. Okay. okay. Typical lover of the white genocide. <laughs> you know, I, I could tell when you walked in that you were, you were one of them. You know, you, you you hate us for our beliefs. Okay, guys, he looks a little Jewy. I don't think anyone's anyone gonna get around that. But uh, and you work at clubs. Uh, I mean, what did I do the last time I was in a club? I went in and I said, "Why is this place so diverse? <laughs> this is a diverse place. I'm going back to my church." Yeah, yeah. that's good. You brought that up. 
do you want to do a take right now and yes. just talk about how terrible diversity is? Ugh. Okay. Last week, I went to church. There was a black person there. Um, and I said, why are you here? This is a white um, church. Go um, back um, to your club. Put your hands up. Um, oh, right? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Let's put our okay. hands together. I felt like we You're were... You're scoring this. There's no lyrics. I just... I have used samples. Also... But my sample machine's broken, so I just... Put your hands in the air is a very black thing, so please don't do add that, that to my our church. soundtrack. How come a, a black guy can tell his audience to put the hands in the air, but if a white cop tells a black guy to put his hands in the mm -hmm. air and he doesn't do it... Everyone's saying cop racist. <laughs> exactly. Yes. This yes. is what I'm looking yes. for. Yes. These are it's good. It's unbelievable, point. you know? Put your hands in the air, black men, so I can tell that you're not going to hurt me. Right. And yeah. then maybe we'll put our hands in the air at the concert. I, I went to a concert. I went to see Eminem. And a black man opened for him, and he said, put his hands in the air. And I didn't want to, but I obliged so he could see that I was not a threat to him. <laughs> That's great stuff. Did you score that? I didn't hear anything. I'm sorry. Was the man who opened for Eminem a, a police officer? <laughs> uh, yeah, a, a black cop opened up for Eminem. He's he one was. of the 12 members of D12. He's the overweight one, and he was a cop He's before a police he joined D12. Okay. Yeah. Can you? Okay. Who wants to go next? These are really good points. This is great stuff. You want to try your Holocaust uh, stat yeah, again? I just want to talk a little bit about, I, you know, we can circle back to clubs at this point. Mm -hmm. There's one club that I don't want to be associated with, and that's the club of people that killed six million Jews in the Holocaust. Okay, that was better. That was better in the yeah. first time you okay. dropped the stat. <laughs> so I this just is getting make, better. Yeah, I want to make sure that everyone knows that just because I love the white race doesn't mean that I want to be part of a small subset that killed six million Jews. P P come on, What are you waiting on. for? But yeah, I don't need a compliment. I was, sorry. Bum. Well, now I can't do it. Bum, bum. Yeah, you're waiting to... Uh, bum, bum. I'm waiting. Also, that sounds like something I know. Typically... Da, na, 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 na. You're, you're stealing that riff. I only start scoring once it gets coherent. Well, then you should have been scoring when you walked into the room, because well, there's a lot of good coherent thoughts going on in here. You want to give a try? Just talk about purity? We all, ha sure. we all have an opinion on it. Um, if you want purity, look in the human heart. You need to look no further. And purity is not compromised by race. And purity is not compromised by religion. But what about the outside of our bodies right. covering well, yeah. the heart? And you didn't even start to talk about Asian people. Yeah, you could have worked in Asia. You could have worked. <laughs> we have yet to Just talk about the Asians. Asian. I'll be honest. I do feel that Asian churches need more diversity. There we go. Expound on Why? that. Why? Yeah. Well, you go to an Asian church, and you just feel um, like you stick out like a sore thumb. It's like, oh, well, here's the... Well, maybe you uh, shouldn't... Uh, why are you even going? Are they speaking English there? No. Why are you there? Because when I go to... I'm Christian, but when I go to English-speaking church, it scares me, some of the things they bum. say. Bum, 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 bum. Bum. See, I will put my go. hands in the air for that. Here's a place that's diverse. Prisons. We don't have a problem when the prisons have all all these people and when my when my brother gets arrested and he has he goes to jail and he you know why can't he go to a white prison no he's sent to a prison full of african americans That's a good point <laughs> that's a really good point Why didn't you score that I'm sorry I was just hypnotized by the idea of a white prison I don't. What does that even mean? A what? A, what is a white prison? It's what prison used to be when you know, pro, you know, pre antebellum. Yeah, when their prisons were good. And when Aztecs prisons were are shitty doing now. their thing, we were doing our thing. Before the Civil War, a prison was a pretty nice place. Oh, yeah. It, not your, maybe supper. not your first choice of a place to go, but if you were sent there, you probably wouldn't complain. Right. But I'd now prisons be, are terrible reputations. Uh, yeah, I'd rather be in an in a, in all-white prison than a black, wealthy neighborhood. Or an Asian church. Score that. Score or an that. Asian church. Score that. 
Boom. <laughs> and <Insane. Barbie> <laughs> All right, do we have another YouTube video? Yeah. Let's do it. Is this the score he was doing? Crap on YouTube. Um, uh, let's skip a video and go to knife throwing mistake. <coughs> Is a burning thing, and it makes a fiery ring. <laughs> I fell into a burning ring of fire. Down, 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 and the flames went higher, and it burns, burns, burns. The ring of fire, the ring of fire. <laughs> okay, listeners, sorry about that. That this we're watching. Uh, what is that? Britain's Got yeah. Talent. So I think we X Factor. Sort of collectively had to bring that to a close before you had an ex-daughter. Um, no. Simon. This guy's f throwing no, what, flaming what, knives what at his is, daughter. I've never been as nervous in my life. Well, no, but so, with respect. <laughs> freeze, freeze, water, freeze, 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 freeze. <laughs> So it's X Factor and it's in Britain and I only just then realized that was a white British guy. I don't know why I thought he that was Scottish. actually Scottish Sorry. dressed up like a Native American. Yeah, dressed up like a Native, Native American, American stereotype. Throwing flaming hatchets or something. Uh, all right, let's keep going. Is we we stopped you because we think you're about to murder your daughter. <laughs> no. Simon. Simon. I would not attempt to stand in front of that board if I thought there was any danger but to darling, myself. <laughs> darling, three of the knives off. just fell off and he just admitted he's never been so nervous. No, no, Simon, Simon, you've got to understand. Why are you Simon. arguing with me when I just saved your life? <laughs> Simon! I don't get that. Please. Oh, come on. <laughs> Hardly save the life. <laughs> what a knight in shining armor. Yeah, well done, <laughs> Superman. Yeah, look, I understand that you're nervous, and I understand that you can probably entertain people with this act, but we weren't entertained today. I was just worried. I was worried genuinely for you and for the theatre. I thought it might have burnt down. Firewater, it's an absolute categorical no. Amanda? It's a no from me. It's three no's. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. <laughs> I think, oh, let's do something on that. Uh, all right, honey, um, before we go out there, I just I want you to know that... You can absolutely trust me. I have just realized that I do get a great deal of anxiety in front of a live television audience. I trust you. I trust okay. you 100%. Um, that's great. So, yeah. worst case scenario, the knife hits you. But... Yeah, we've, done, we've been through that before. Great. We've been through that before. Um, I've been cut. I've been burnt. Great. I'm and just going to... I feel the best way for me to do this. I'll, just get, I'll spend some time getting into character now. Okay. We'll get out there. Great. I think this is gonna help your Parkinson's. You've been, you know, th those those chants that you do really kind of. I feel like it gets the shakes out. You get the shakes out now, you know. I feel good. Yeah. I feel good and ready to throw knives at white woman. Great. Good. Dad, good. you're the best. Yeah. Um, honey. Uh, I'm so proud of you. White woman, so proud. thank you. Yes. <laughs> Uh, well, let's just, uh... Uh, yeah. I'm going to get in character, too. Good. Thank you. I'm a white woman. I'm a white woman. Oh, and this Indian's about to throw knives at me. Oh, no. Oh, oh daddy. Excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, the custody hearing is about to begin. Uh, you guys can come on in whenever you're ready. Uh, we're going to uh, stay standing, please, because the judge will be entering in a second. Wonderful. Right. This is what I'm talking dum, dum, about. Dum, dum, there, dum, dum, there's dum, my daughter. She has. A, you have white face on my daughter. Uh, Our I, daughter. I yes, I have. I have made this woman to look this presentable. Woman. He's I referring am, to our daughter as this woman. I am white woman. I've been I've been kidnapped by this Indian man. All rise for the honorable Judge Masulis. Mm hmm. 
Take your sir. Save me, Judge. Save me. That's engine man. That's two outbursts too many, you guys. I need you to sit down. This is an actual court, so just take a seat. Okay. All right. Judge, this is what I'm talking about. I'm sorry. I'll just start. But please do. Look, look, look at this. Look what he's, he's dressed up as an Indian, and that's offensive. Oh. And he has white face on my child. That's offensive to everybody. She's white. Why does she need white face on her? Mm-hmm. Uh, I, I don't know. I obvi- she, he's insane, and I should have custody. I, I agree I with you. Case. I am going to need to see um, why you're doing this. May I speak for a moment? Uh, no, I'm going to need to see your show before I can make any okay. decisions. Okay, I think that that, I will let it speak for itself. Great. I will just let you know that I was diagnosed recently with Parkinson's. Ir- irrelevant. I'm incredibly nervous about getting custody of my daughter and have never thrown a uh, knife before. <laughs> well. Okay. <clears throat> Molly, don't let Here him do go. this. What? He's never, you haven't even practiced this? Um, Mom, I've been... Do so, you see how she stifles her young child, Your Honor? Yeah. I mean, you know, if I were black wearing white face, it'd be fine. But I'm I'm white, and I'm wearing white face. So, and Clara, now they, it's a they awarded custody to Dan? I don't know what happened. Well, okay, I didn't the want to say The judge loved his show or something. Okay, well, look, some of us have been talking, and we didn't yeah. want to tell you, but I think it's starting to really have an effect on your life. What? You've got a real shitty tood, like, on your face. You have, like, a real shitty judgmental face. What? I'm not trying to hurt your feelings, but I think that might have something to do with why you... You just have, like, a pissed-off expression. You have, like, a real shitty face. You have, like, a, your face at rest that shows a shitty attitude. You think the judge judged me on that? I'm just taking a guess here. My husband throws flaming knives at my daughter that he puts in white face, and I have a toot on my face? Yeah, you have, like, a real who-farted face all the time. Then why are you friends with me? Well, because I know what's behind it, which is a good good woman and a good mother mm-hmm. but right now a stern caring mother yeah yeah just so try. what do i do are well, you just here to do criticize you me do you have an appeal of course i do okay. it's tomorrow well terrific just compose yourself before do some facial relaxation okay i'll try unfortunately your honor the Rain dance my daughter and i did to stop this appeal did not work but okay that's you I know what go forward with it I want to see that show one more time. I uh, just need to see what you did last time. I was really impressed, um, and I can tell that you really... Ma'am? I, yes? I'm going to need you to unscrunch your face. I'm trying to smile. I don't know I'm how doing. you can... Is my mom doing that? It's going to be hard to raise a, a child who is unencumbered by a lot of emotional problems if that's the way you're going to keep your face all the time. I tried. I lost again. And you know what? I can't see when I smile. That's I realize that now. It's because my cheeks you go up into my to eyes. Smile better. You, you were held in contempt of court. Do you want me to not see? Yeah. Imagine if I start smiling and then I'm driving and I wreck. You're driving and you wreck. Listen, when the, people would prefer to not to be deprived of sight than to see your face in its scrunched up state. It makes people hate you. I don't know what my face looks like. So tell me, have you seen me with a face that's acceptable? Once, Ever? Once. What was I doing? It was Valentine's Day and you were as- asleep. You it's were taking weird. a nap. You remember it even. Well, I'm sorry, but you have you, a memory of me being asleep. It was right on after Valentine's your divorce, Day? and I came over because you were sad on Valentine's Day, and for a second oh, you were asleep. I bring that up. I'm sorry. Valentine's Day is a very hard day for recent divorcees. I know. Ugh. How's my face look now? <laughs> Ow! How's it look now? I'm sorry. I just, it's an instinct. People want to hurt you. Maybe I should uh, do the Joker razor thing on it. The Chelsea smile? Yeah. Well, should you'd I have... Chelsea smile myself? I'll be honest. For most people, I would say that's outright insane. In your case, I feel like there's nowhere to go but up. Okay. So I'll make a slit up my cheek yeah, up to my ear? Yeah, you get two soccer hooligans to hold razors in your mouth. Or I can't just do it myself? No, then it's not. I mean, you can, but you'll do a sloppy job. Who- okay, so cut to outside a soccer stadium. <laughs> Excuse me, skinheads. Uh, yeah, yeah. What, what, what do you want? What do you want? Is your what match you over? Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah, we fucking won. So, yeah, we're you celebrating. Want... You want a drink? Well, Come get a drink, babe. I was thinking... Maybe you guys were up to some rough shit and want to give me a razor blade. Oh, Jesus Christ, look at her. She's threatening us. She's making a threatening face. Look out. Oh, get out of here. Look ah, she's hey, smiling. Come back. Ah. Come back. Brandishing razor blades. 
you dispatched a crew of soccer hooligans. Yeah. Just with your bone structure. You, you're not my friend anymore. I am your, your face friend. isn't looking at me, and my face isn't so great anyway. What? You think my face isn't great? Well, when you look at me like that, it isn't. You look at me like I have a horrible face. That's not a nice face. I'm sorry. Maybe that's why I never realized that, because everyone's always looking at me, reflecting my face back to me. That's true. So I never knew what a happy face looked like. But I've seen baby pictures of you. And even as a baby, you look like some sort of succubus. You know what? I don't like you. I'm sorry. You've crossed that line of being honest into insulting. You look like... So how are you? How's your relationship going? It's so good. Is it's it? It's so good. Is it really? We just bought a smaller bed because we want to have less room between us when we sleep. Really? Is he taking the second blowjob yet? Is he taking the second blowjob? He's still not taking a second blowjob, but that's just because he's quickly dehydrated. <laughs> and scene. What do we got, Brett? One more. Thomas, uh, anything yeah, interesting on the YouTube line? Uh, not much. Not much? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can do one more. Um, All right, one more. It's an anti-porn PSA. Oh. You may be wondering whether or not it's actually possible for a person to become addicted to pornography mm. since it doesn't seem to be drug-related. Mm -hmm. Professor Harper, does it have an escalating effect like the drug addictions? It really does, Brad. You <laughs> said they suffer great losses. What were you referring to? If you feel the temptation is getting the upper hand, get some support from someone you trust. And I just want all you guys to know, I'm available for you. Anytime you might need me. You're stronger if you try not to fight it alone. <laughs> Kevin, what are you doing in the library? I thought you were allergic to books. I don't come here for the books, man. I come here for the chicks. Yeah, check out this website. <laughs> I should have known. Anyway, I came by to invite you to my place later tonight. He's bringing some of those new videos. Hey, you know what kind of videos he specializes in. <laughs> I gotta go pick up some munchies and uh, special buzz juice if you catch my drift. See you tonight. <laughs> Mountain Dew. Oh yeah, he's what? looking up porn. I've got this paper due on Monday. What's wrong with you, man? It's Friday night. Okay, all right, okay, okay all right. Okay, stop okay, it. Okay, all right. This I'm is on my one way. of those fucking. Don't play those anymore, actually. This has what? been cut up, right? No, this I has think been this edited is real. to be funny, right? Hasn't it? This is one of no, those sure TV carnage things, no? All right, let's keep going. Catch up my listeners, the guy who wants to masturbate is going over to his support guy. That was a weird ending. That was definitely <laughs> cut up. Okay. All right, let's do something. Then it became a rainbow party. Mm. Ring, 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 ring. Ring, 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 ring. Hello? Hello? Hey, hey, um, pa Pastor Dave? Yeah. Hey. Speaking. Uh, it, it's Brian. Brian, uh, my son. Yeah, yeah, um, uh, sorry to call you so late. It's, I know it's like really late. I need, it's never too late for a man of God. Okay. There is no time for me. What, what, what is bothering you, son? Oh, I just, I just, you know, I just went to big, big, big dits, big dicks and little tits and, uh, <laughs> Lots of big dicks and okay. tiny little tits. Brendan, and, uh, are you in the library right now? I, I'm in the are library. Are you in the library right now? <laughs> you need to get it. I'm in the to, library. You need to get out of that library, and you need to go to a place that say you got to get off big dicks, big, big dicks, <laughs> three, tits. three hours earlier. Hey, what's up, man? Oh, hey, Brian. You coming up? in the library? <laughs> yeah, man. I haven't seen you around here. Yeah. Dude, you should go check out this on the library computer. W W W 
Big dicks. <laughs> Little, Little tits. You know yeah. how awesome that is. Yeah. To see a guy with a big old dick. <laughs> Trying to put it between two little tits. Uh, <laughs> Brandon, Brandon, the first thing you've got to do, you have to stop hanging out with people that look like they watch awful porn. Because those people definitely watch awful porn. You need to be away from that. Now, what is it about big dicks, little tits that you like? Maybe we can break that apart Excuse and find me, out Excuse me, young stay. man. Uh, oh. The library is closed. Oh, I, I didn't know you were here. Sorry. Let I me... wait till the last person leaves, and I don't like to ask young people to leave a... Um, a hall of learning, but uh, oh. um, let me uh, let me just finish up here. I apologize. My phone call. Okay. Finish up my yeah. phone call. Well, when you get a chance, we're closing. Hey, really quick, do you do you recommend a? a I recommend oh. this tale of Huckleberry Finn. <laughs> oh. Okay. A story of adventure, bravery, and open-heartedness. I brought a copy with you because I saw a young person, and I thought, oh, someone who loves reading this much should be exposed to oh, the wow, classics. That, wow. From the cover, it shows like there's a there's a black guy, big old black yes, guy. Yes, that's and... Jim. Oh, wow. He's a slav. <laughs> we cut to uh, the next day at his friend's house. Hey, do you like that uh, website I recommended? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, it, it was pretty good, but... Uh, you didn't freak out and call the pastor. No, uh, it's, no it's no big deal. I actually um, met this cool guy at the library, actually. Oh, yeah? He recommended, um, he recommended a new kind of uh, fun site. If What's you know that? What I mean. Oh, it's a, it's a really good book. Uh, um, big Black Dick Little Boy. Um, I mean... Big black dick little boy. Yeah, yeah. Or um, it's a little boy with a little big black dick. No, 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 no. It's like you that'd know, be cool. it's a tale of two friends. Yeah, that'd be really cool. You, mm -hmm. uh, I'm, I'm sure it's out there by the, but uh, yeah, it's called Huckleberry Finn. You know. Yeah. The so they've sent you book. to me, huh? Uh, you were asking around the underground, and you found the man who's been spending his whole life searching for a big black dick little boy. Yeah. <laughs> well, I've searched far and wide. And still to no avail, but I would love anybody to join my crew. Okay, I got a lot of questions because Absolutely. first off, I, I said when we Googled on the internet, agreed to go to yeah. the city and go in some guy's apartment, right, yeah. that this is dangerous. I'm not this a weirdo. Not, I haven't done anything weird to you. I know, uh, but you're bigger than us, and we're not from the city, yeah. and we didn't tell our parents. There's hey, a lot of weirdness going on. If you guys want to be in this crew, you guys got to bring snacks and buzz juice. Oh. Buzz juice? Yeah, buzz I juice. don't know what you're saying. Uh, buzz, take, yeah. take it to me what you take it to mean. Buzz, buzz juice? Bring beer. Oh, beer, okay. Oh. Yeah, 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 we got yeah. kicked out of the bodega for stealing gum. And, and we snacks, can't go back in there. Snacks, of course, means, you know, Doritos or something we can nibble on. Well, I while got they're... snacks. Okay, well, buzz I wasn't juice sure. Buzz was different. I wasn't sure what was unclear about the two things. I'm sorry. Buzz juice. Buzz, yeah, buzz juice. I don't know about these guys. I'm kind of scared. Either. Buzz Look juice. Look at all the is that pictures heroin? on the wall. They have I know. A ton of little pictures. I of little can't points. accept this book back. What? I trusted you yeah. after hours with Huckleberry Finn, and you scrawled over the top cover. <laughs> Big black dicks and little kids. Well, well, that's what the. I mean, honestly, I I did n that author a favor. Okay, I did him a favor. Mark Twain. Yeah, I did Mark Twain a favor by renaming it. We cut it. to Molly's or Brian. Mark, Brian. Brian. <laughs> Brian's English class. As he starts his book report uh, on Huckleberry Finn. Thank you, Brian. Uh, yeah. It was a really good book. Um, it's a classic tale. Uh, just hold on, guys. Just for now on in book reports, all the books I'll be giving you are really good. So let's not start off the book uh, report by it's a really good book. Let's just assume. Okay. These are all classics. We've been reading these this one for 40 years at the school. So it's really good. Okay. Okay. So let's just everybody erase that from the first line of your book report right now. All right. Okay. Okay, go ahead. I'm going to erase it from my last line as well, because it was oh, also really? my last... Oh, really? You bookended? That wasn't yeah. the thesis, was it? <laughs> Guys, when we talk about thesis, the thesis can't just be it was really good. Okay. 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 I'll, I'll say what... Is this is AP English oh, Okay, this is what the book needed, okay? All right. No offense, Mark Twain. Uh, uh, not enough nude scenes. Because, first off, if you're going to have someone as big and strapping as Jim, you know, you should you should get that dick out there. 
why weren't there any little tits, you know? Um, first off, what's with the title? I mean, just the name? Come on, like, let's get some descriptors in there. I know how to sell things. I'm a kid of the internet. <laughs> let's Everyone out. Everyone out what? right now except for Brian. Oh, no. Everyone oh, dismissed. Wow. Wait, what? Good. Well, I was looking forward to reading my report about how the sun also rises. I think we'll have a long shelf life. What? How people will continue, how it'll have longevity as a work of fiction. That's just another way of saying it was a good book. He's well, not to yeah. say that. Oh, did you try to trick me? What? That's what just happened. Everyone okay, was we'll dismissed. Leave. Brian. What? You think I'm going to punish you, don't you? Yeah, I'm comfortable. No, no. No, no, my boy. You get it. One student <sighs> every 10 years gets Fuckleberry Finn is that's what we it. call it. That's it. Yeah, that's the secret code. You want you you struggle to find a title for it, but that's it. Yeah. You ready to come to the Fuckleberry Finn? Fuck yes. Underground? Yeah. Okay, we cut to the underground. Welcome, new member. Now, as we start every one of these meetings, Brother Eric will read the entirety of Fuckleberry Finn. <laughs> This is always such Guys, a pleasure. Guys, this is going to be good, okay? Wait a second. Don't be afraid to... I know it's weird jacking off in front of each other, but that's just something we all got to get it gets over. It's normal, and at some point, the magic big black yeah, dick little don't. boy will come jack off in front of us. Okay, Eric, are you ready? Uh, the Adventures of Fuckleberry Finn, or in more recent editions, The Adventures of Fuckleberry Finn. Oh, God, that voice. <laughs> Does he do phone sex? This is great. Is a novel by Here, Mark... Hand me those napkins. Twain, first published in England in oh. December 1884, and the United States in February. Uh, nah, the odd, the odd halting cadence of his voice. <laughs> <laughs> Jump into some text, man. I don't have any. It's probably on Google Books. I usually have the whole. Uh... <laughs> Guys, are you really hard? Is everybody really hard? Absolutely. Yeah, Brian, that Brian that are you okay? Please. I yeah, I'm digging You're comfortable this. around being your English teacher yeah. and an orgy with your dick out? Yeah, and I, I you, like... You shouldn't be, by the way. If any other teachers are doing this, but you can trust me, because I won't touch you. Oh. By the way, yeah, and the rest of us, we're all teachers. You it all happens for all know about English teachers. teachers. Different, yeah. Schools. Different schools, different yeah. schools. You'll probably end up being an English teacher now, is my yeah. guess. Absolutely. Yeah. Oh, you want to Look at all these other titles. Tom saw her come. <laughs> yeah, this yeah, is yeah, a what else <laughs> master's degree. <laughs> What else is there? <laughs> c- c- cunt netiquette, uh, Yankee in King Arthur's d- dick hole. Mm. Collected shorts it? of Mark Twain, which are erotic. Okay. Hurry up, I'm losing my chubby. Tom and me found the money, and that the robbers <laughs> hid in the grave cave, and it made us rich. We got six thousand dollars spice. Freeze. Oh. Okay, I I think you can uh, listen to your Eric recordings at twice the speed, and that way you'll be able to masturbate yourself. I won't to be sleep able to faster. enjoy them. That's not the point. The point is they're slow, and it. Here, let's try it as twice. Speed. I'll try it. Okay, and twice speed. Tom and me found the money that the robbers. No, then it just sounds like a slightly slow normal person. <laughs> All right, I'm going to put it at quadruple speed, and this will sound normal. Tom, we found the money, and the robbers hid in the cave, and it made us rich. We got $6,000 spice all the time. No, no, no! You don't like now it, it just sounds like a tired person reading a medical disclaimer. <laughs> it's not what I'm interested in. And scene, folks. Holy shit, that made me laugh. Thomas, the intern. Eric, the unpaid intern. Give him a hand, everybody at home. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Dan Lippert, thank you for being here. Uh, Molly, Paul, Aaron, and Nicholas out there. Who did I forget to say? Matt. Matt. No. Does he go by Nicholas or Nick? Nick. Okay. Nicholas. Thanks for coming, guys. Uh, These guys are all on Herald Teams. They're very funny. No kidding. If you're in L.A., you should check them out. Um, You want to give your Twitter handles? Come on in, guys, from out there. Give your Twitter handles, Dan. Uh, I'm on Twitter, at Dan Lippert, L-I-P-P-E-R-T. Just that easy. Mine's Molly Bredhauer, at Molly Bredhauer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mine is at Paul B. Welsh. Oh, guys, He's what's so your creative. Twitter handle? Uh, at Nick Mondernock. Mm-hmm. 
You guys got it. Oh, I'm at girl with a tail. Oh, okay, see, she didn't get hers. <laughs> girl with a tail. <laughs> and at Matt Newell. All right, he got oh, Matt, Matt Newell somehow. Okay, uh, Zach, where are you promoting? I, I know you're in like I, 50 projects. Um, yeah, nothing at the moment. I don't. The USA show? When is oh, that yeah, on? Oh, yeah, yeah. Uh, Playing House. I don't know when that starts to air, but that'll be uh, Lennon Parham and Jessica Sinclair's new yeah. show on USA. I not, don't know when it, Not in the winter? Isn't that when it's starting? Yeah, maybe. I don't. I genuinely I'm don't. More know. up on your career than you are. <laughs> <laughs> MattBesser.com, folks. We got to find out about the UCB Comedy Improvisation Manual. Come on, get it. I'm on The Millers tonight. That'll only help if you're watching us live right now but tonight on the millers actually got a pretty big role worth watching what else hey buy my stand-up albums too mattbester.com what else do we need to talk about thomas did i forget about something oh yeah the stealth what are we calling it oh yeah the uh stealth subscriber yeah Tim i like Proper this Humans idea challenge you go and you sneak into someone else's computer like a workmate or your brother or your roommate and you subscribe to Improper Humans on their iTunes. I think that's funny. <laughs> and we'll make a forum thread where you can post your uh, stealth subscription chal- um, stories. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's like war stories. What else were you going to say? Is there something else? we got a Facebook page. What else were you going to talk about, Thomas? Anything Facebook.com slash Improv for Humans and uh-huh. Twitter Improv for Humans. But were you going to say something? I was going to give a shout-out to Greggy, who's been asking for a shout-out on the YouTube uh, comments. Why does he need a shout-out? Fuck you, Greggy. <laughs> what, what, did he, what did he add to the show? What did Greggy do? Did he give me one of those YouTube That's why clips? I stopped myself, but he did, he did ask several times. You know what? Fuck Greg. What else do we know about Greggy? <laughs> What else do we know about this guy? I hope Gosh. Greggy was the I'll, guy I'll yelling click, at the trumpet. I'll trumpeter. click on his <laughs> yeah, YouTube page. Trumpet. 41 years! Someone make an electronica song out of that. I would. I beg, there must be some talented listener who does that kind of thing. Make, please find that YouTube video. What was it called? Um, poor Trumpet Playing, something like that. Oh my God, please playing. make some song out of that with samples. I would love, I would dance to that. All right, guys, keep being human. Everybody wave and let's... Fate.